More than two years after police made undercover buys of synthetic drugs, Extreme Underground remains open in downtown Oswego, just a block away from City Hall. It's taken this long for the case to make its way into court. The owner of Extreme Underground, Brian Colombo, faces eight misdemeanor charges in connection with the sale of drugs going under the names of Avalanche, Neutronium, and Bizarro. His employee, Sierra Tulin, appeared before Judge David Roman on similar charges. And watching all this unfold was Teresa Wilson, the mother of synthetic drug victim Victor Wilson. Why is this particular case so important? Because synthetic drugs are killing people constantly still all over the United States. Teresa's son, Victor, drowned at the age of 19 in August 2012 in Lake Ontario. Police say he was high on a synthetic drug sold as Avalanche, which he had just purchased from Extreme Underground. Since then, Teresa has successfully lobbied state legislators and law enforcement to crack down on synthetic drugs, which are commonly called bath salts. I would like these stores closed, but I would like to save lives. I'd like awareness. That products, even if, you know, they're on a shelf, they're not safe. The case against Brian Colombo and Extreme Underground could be precedent setting. It's the first time that a new provision of the state education law has brought criminal charges for the alleged mislabeling of pharmaceuticals. Colombo's lawyer, Joseph Rodak, refused an on-camera interview, but he told me he intends to challenge the law as part of his defense. He says using a provision of the education law is improper because it's meant to regulate pharmacies, and extreme underground is not a pharmacy. He says the substances were not illegal two years ago when police made the uncover buys, and he claims that they were not being sold or marketed as drugs. The attorney says it would be the same thing as charging Hobby Lobby for selling glue, which people might abuse to get high. Reporting from Oswego, I'm Jim Kenyon.